Hello everybody, I thought I'd put in a personal appearance to show you where we are. We're doing Unit 9, we're going to find out about A and the. I hope you're all well, I thought I'd show my face. Um, yeah, I'm wearing glasses today. Um, yeah, take care, speak to you soon, bye. Okay, turn to page 88 and look at 1, 2 and 3. Think about part 1, then do 2A and 2B. Um, you can check your answers. When you check the answers to page 88, part B, you might want to look in the back of the book on page 155, or you might want to look at the link to the BBC video before you go on to 89 and test things, okay? Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you some at and the, yeah? Have a look at this or have a listen to this. Gdansk is a city in the north of Poland. The capital of Poland is Warsaw. The Vistula River flows through the middle of Warsaw. Right, things to think about. Cities, countries, do we use the? Points of the compass, north, south, east, west, do we use the? How many cities are there in Poland? You don't need to be Polish to answer this. How many capital cities does a country have? How many rivers are called the Vistula? Okay, um, anyway, it's all rivers. Um, let's listen to how that translates into Polish. Uh, that's just for our Polish people because you really do have problems with that at and the. Gdańsk to miasto na północy Polski. Stolicą Polski jest Warszawa. Wisła przepływa przez środek Warszawy. And anybody who's not Polish, look, they can't even make up the name of their capital city. Um, <laughs> I know it's a tense. Right, uh, let's have another one for you. And this, now we're going to go for a different language. Um, Probably poor translation. That car is my uncle's car. Look, it's the red car. His car is red. Okay, and that lady who was nearly falling asleep is telling you that that car, now we can see it. Okay, this car, that car, these cars, those cars. If we can, if we know which one we're talking about, then we know we can use the. Okay, the red car. Okay, you can see it. Yeah. Um, of course, if we use my uncle's or his, then we don't need the or ah because we've already got um, a word in front of the noun. OK, so only use the when we've not got something else like a number or my possessive pronoun, for example. OK, and um, this is Bengali. Let's see. We and as we know, Garilal means the red car, okay? Um, if you don't have the in your language, if there's only one or we know which one we're talking about, it's the, okay? If it's one out of many and it doesn't matter, then it's a, okay? I have a computer on my table. The computer is black.